Big news from Salesforce. They are set to mandate a return to the office for most of their employees. This is a big turn turnaround for the company that has allowed work from home since the start of the pandemic. The move could have huge ramifications for downtown. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has been following this story for us. Joining us live in studio now with a look at the impact. Tim. Yeah, Larry Kristen, it's important to remember that just two years ago, Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff rather famously proclaimed that so-called office mandates were never going to work. Now the company seems to be backtracking on that a bit, and the results could benefit everyone in San Francisco. Head to the Salesforce Tower in downtown San Francisco on any day during the week, and you'll notice the foot traffic in and out of the building is still much lower than before COVID. That could soon be changing, though. Salesforce recently announcing it will require most of its employees to return to the office for at least three to five days a week. Welcome news to Yolanda Olguin, who runs Alfaro Mexican restaurant just half a block away. Friday was our best day before the pandemic. Now that's one of the, you know, not, not the same. Olguin's restaurant has been in business for nearly 45 years. She tells us after booming in the time prior to the pandemic, the recovery since then has been difficult, and she hopes Salesforce's new policy will boost business once again. Down the road at Japanese House, it was a similar story. Owner David Chuen says he just opened a few weeks ago, but chose this location specifically because he was hoping an increasing number of office workers would help the restaurant's bottom line. I think maybe after half a year, maybe up. Yeah, a yeah, customer coming more. But Salesforce's new policy will likely have a much bigger impact than just small businesses, according to San Francisco City economist Ted Egan. Office workers working from home is really the single biggest reason why down has, has remained relatively depressed since the end of the pandemic. Egan says more employees in the city means more economic output and higher tax revenues. He also tells me San Francisco officials are hoping other companies will soon follow Salesforce's lead. I think an important thing for to watch is is what's the the employees uh, you know response to that. Uh, downtown San Francisco is quite a bit different than it was you know three years ago when people were, were first starting to say no I, I don't want to come back to the office. And as for the employees, some tell us while the new policy will likely be popular among some, it may not be among others. It's 50-50 because obviously some people live like in Sacramento or further out, right, or SoCal or something like that. And they obviously can't make it to San Francisco every day. Now, Salesforce's new return to the office policy is set to go into effect on October 1st. I'm live in the studio, Tim Johns, ABC7 News.